On this uh, segment, I just wanted to talk about uh, a question I get asked a lot, and that's how much does it cost to make a converter? A lot of people send me the message, how much does it cost? I want to run this motor. So what's happened in the past is I've always had to couch the question or kind of hesitate a little bit, and I'd write them back and say, well, we like, we prefer to use the transformer method. I think that method works better. It's quieter. It's, it's like a lot of convenience to it. Things are it's just easier. And I, so I would tell them, well, you could build a rotary if you have a, a used motor, and you can do that. If you want to build a transformer method, the challenge is you have to find a transformer. I say you have to go out and buy a transformer. So I came up with a way you could wind your own transformer, and I figured that if people, uh, if people could uh, wind their own transformer, then at least we would have the cost nailed down. We would say, okay, this is the cost. I mean, you're going to figure, you can, you know, upfront the cost is. You don't have to go out and search for anything. And I was just going to make a quick run and show people and try and tell them. On the transformer, on this transformer right here, focus in on this homemade transformer here, Christopher. On this transformer here, homemade transformer, we have about 720 feet of, of 12 gauge wire, okay? So the cost to make this transformer is you're gonna have to buy two spools, if you wanna buy retail, you're gonna have to buy two spools of 12 gauge wire down at Home Depot right now, they're 54 bucks each, solid 12 gauge wire. Some start capacitors over here, if you can show that. And I have three of them hooked up because I was doing some experiments. You would not need three. One would probably be good for the air compressor. Uh, I have my capacitor board set up as I show people in the video. But I have right here, I've got a 48 microfarad permanently wired in. I have a 10, a 55, and another 10. So altogether, we have about 123 microfarads, okay, of, of capacitors. Okay, now go over on the board there, and we'll run the air compressor. Now, as you can see, focus in on the air gauge and just show them. Uh, we, we have the, the tank is about 140, 135 pounds or so. I still have the little unloader valve disconnected from my earlier videos when we were showing this starting power of the transformer. Uh, we're going to run it up to about 175 pounds. Now, the amazing thing here is this homemade transformer, made it ourselves, it has the lowest input amps when we're running this motor than anything. I've been experimenting with this thing for, what, a year now, and we use the air compressor as a kind of a experimental tool, and we've never had this low of amps at uh, the 175, 165 pounds. So let's start the thing up. And you look at the amps, we've got a 13.5, 13, 12 amps. The voltage is 241, 248, 240, 244. You've got 17.3 amps in right now. So we're going to run it up to 175 pounds. We had a benchmark at 165 pounds. The single phase motor that was on the air compressor was running at 20.6 amps. So here we are with our homemade transformer. And we're running up, we'll just, I don't want to waste a lot of film here, but we're going to get it up to 165 pounds or so and see what the amperage is reading at that, that pressure. All right, so go over to the air pressure gauge just quickly. It's getting up there. So what do we have? We have about... I would say it's about 165 right now. Okay, now go over to the input amps. And there we have the input amps are 18.1 amps. Now that to me is just amazing. And, and look at the motor amps there. We got what, 13, 7, 13, 6, 13, 2. The voltages are all fine. Now we're up at 18.3. Now go over to the air pressure gauge. We're going over 175 pounds right now. We're at 18, 18.4 amps input. Look at the amp meter, the motor amp meters again. Let me bleed some off. I'm getting a little nervous. Okay. What do we got? 13.5, 13.6, 13.7. 13.6. Holy moly. We're, look, at the, look at the air pressure gauge. Just, just running over here. 
We are getting up to almost 200 pounds there. I better bleed some off. And look at it, we're 18.8 .8 amps input. 13, 5, 13, 6, 13, 7, 238, 239, 246, 238. This is what, this is made with a homemade transformer. I mean, it's just uh, something we threw together at home. It's the uh, transformer method.